Hello, this is Jordan Passwords, and this is a video tutorial on how to hatch chickens outside of their shell. Now, before I continue any further, please watch the video in the description on the Japanese students that did this. This is what gave me the inspiration to do this experiment, and it shows you more of what we're going to be doing. Also in the description, there's a URL that will bring you to the research paper that this is entirely based off of, and it gives you very in-depth details about what we should do at every step. The first step to hatching chickens outside of their eggs is getting the eggs. These aren't just normal grocery eggs that you'd pick up. These are fertilized eggs. So depending on where you want to get them, the ones that were used for this experiment were ordered. So the first step is whenever you get those eggs in, whether they were ordered and shipped, or if you went and bought them somewhere, you immediately have to put them inside of an incubator. Now the incubator is the hardest material to come by in this experiment. If you're doing this at a school, you'll probably find, you probably have an incubator at your school. If not, there's going to be a link in the description on how to build your own incubator. It shouldn't cost more than $20 to do so. Okay, so once you have your incubator and your eggs, you will put your eggs inside the incubator and keep them in there for 54 to 55 hours. Once you get the fertilized eggs in, you want to put them immediately into the incubator and then you want to turn them three times a day. I'll show you how you're supposed to do that. You take the egg out and you put it in your hand like so and you just rub it around like this for about a minute. And then when you place the egg back in, if it was placed like this originally, you want to place it back in the opposite way so the yolk will not stick to the walls of the shell. Okay, so after the 55 hour mark, you'll take your eggs outside of the incubator and you'll need a few more materials to continue. You'll need a cup per egg some saran wrap, a few cotton balls, an Easter egg, and a straw. So the first thing you want to do is prepare your cup. To start off, you want to make a one centimeter diameter hole about two centimeters from the bottom of the cup, like so. So once you have the hole, you put the cotton ball inside. This hole is for later, on day 17, you'll need to pump straight oxygen into the cup. Next, you're going to need to take a 12 by 12 inch piece of cling wrap, which goes on top of your cup. Okay, so you want to take that and put it over the cup, and then you're going to take your Easter egg, which is going to be basically the shape, you're molding the saran wrap into the shape of the egg that you'll put in here and you want to press that down into the saran wrap, like so, giving it that nice mold. You want to press it down to about here, so it's not too high up, and then you'll pull out your egg, and voila. Okay, you want to fasten down the saran wrap with a rubber band, and then you're going to puncture little holes in the top of your cup, in the saran wrap, not the cup. This is so the egg can breathe. Now time for the egg. What I find best, the best way to break it open is however the egg was last left in the incubator, let's say it was standing up like this, you wanna flip, you wanna puncture it at the top here because the yolk will be settling at the bottom here so that way you won't break it open. So, I'm gonna be very gentle. And break into the egg and then just try to break around here without puncturing the yolk. This way you're not killing your chicken, which has happened before. Don't worry if you break it open. It happens to the best of us. Okay, now that you've broken up in your egg, you wanna pour it into your cup, like so. Beautiful. Your egg should now look like this. You want to take another 12 by 12 inch saran wrap piece and put it over the top and then fold it down. Okay. You then want to put your cup back into the incubator. On day 17, you will need to take out your cotton ball 
and put your straw inside the cup and then pump oxygen into the cup. If everything went well, you now have baby chickens. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.